<laughs> Ready in three, two. What's going on? <laughs> Loud, right, dude, let me start over. What's going on? Don't, don't say it fast. I know. Say it yeah, loud. It's not raised, dog. Just What's going on? It's Georgie here. Episode 155. Yo, it's your boy, Evo George. What's what going do? on? My name is George. Man. No, we know your name, dog. Just... What's going on? It's George here. You're not doing a job interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now I see why you didn't get a job, bro. <laughs> so probably couldn't even pronounce his name. Yeah. Works try over. Ready in three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> did he tell you what or uh, were you there were you there uh y'all was at Eliza's birthday when he was selling marlo how the interview went i don't think so and he told the guy the guy was at the end you know how they asked you do you have any questions like for me and george was like when do i start and then the guy didn't say anything back <laughs> and he said i always get a laugh at that <laughs> and not this time but you said it serious no you were like joking and I said it like like smile like, like into, the, into the mic into the mic into the mic. And I said it, I said it pretty pretty loud and with smiling like oh what can I start like and I even went like this and I thought he was gonna he didn't like, shake your hand no <laughs> damn that's crazy man. yeah you didn't that no wonder why you didn't get it yeah, that's a smart wait you went for this or you went for that no I went like this did he just shake it no. Shit. What'd you do? You just got up. Uh, yeah, you know, I went out with you probably bit, pissed them all during the interview. What did I say wrong, though? I don't know, bro. I don't have the recap. I wasn't there. He oh, must no. have gone back to his coworkers saying, I just interviewed. <laughs> the dumbest guy. <laughs> A one of one. <laughs> yeah, you are. You need films. <laughs> Intro, come on. I don't know. Enjoy the shit already. What's up, guys? This is episode. 155? Close enough. Just keep going. Did I say it wrong? Keep going. Keep going. Uh, my name is George. This is Hector. Wesley. Marlo. <laughs> I'm proud that you got on it. I know. At least like, you got through the whole setting. Okay. Sure, and let's job. start. Good, shit. good okay. job, George. Wait it's episode 154, not 155, <laughs> but close enough. Way to set the tone. Yes, sir. With your confidence. You're welcome. When do I start? <laughs> when do I start? It's funny. George completes like a couple sentences and then he just gets like this confidence and then it's like, all right, like, relax. You got to. Like confident. right now, he was like, you're welcome. Like, yeah, yeah. Try yeah. to do that. And it was yeah. like, all right. <laughs> I like it, George. It's fine. Yeah, I like it too. I, I prefer that over the uh, completely like, non-verbal George. For one answer. Yep. Yeah. Yep. This version of George, even if he's overconfident and maybe a little wacky, I prefer. Yeah. Rather than at the end of the episode... Hector literally asked you, are you get tired of talking, George? <laughs> you were like, no. I'm falling asleep. <laughs> well, thanks. Yeah, for real. Uh, you guys were at the Hobby concert. We did. Hobby, a.k.a. Uh, Chobby. In Riverside. If you know, you know. Oh, that's right. Honestly, that guy, he's got it. I think he's the Mexican Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> for real. He's got the factor. Oh, no. 100%. Nah, that's not even a joke. Like, I think he's he's going to be the, the Mexican Justin Bieber. Just because uh, the same way Peso Bluma has that younger audience, he really had that pull. I was mostly just there to, like, kind of observe things. But, yeah. Okay. From a... Uh, like a record label? Yeah. Sorry, was like a scout. Scouting. Yeah, I was scouting, you know? You are like that scout, and I wanted to see the, the pop-off. Straight the out of Compton when yeah. the, the label's guy <laughs> pulled up to the concert. Yeah. Shit, I mean, you and La Familia Records coming, bro. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I was I was just like I was mostly like looking at how people were reacting to like when you know he was doing his little antics and um, you know his little showmanship and I think he's got it. He he, he had a high energy. Uh, he sings the songs really well. Um, yeah, he's like, a good voice. Um, even though there was a few videos floating around of how his his voice was a little cracked with certain performances, but that's kind of normal. I mean. What do you expect? He's on a tour. I mean, he's barely Performing starting off, you know. So much. So he's not really used to it. But um, but other than that, I mean, great performance. Like I said, a lot of energy. Um, and he's got it. He's, you know, the Mexican Justin Bieber. Mark my words, what? Yeah, if someone said that, why'd you come up with that? Why'd you say that? No, I said that. That's my take. <laughs> I know, but like, it's what original. Was... <laughs> well, why? What? He's got the baby face, like that's how Justin Bieber was. Like he had the baby face, and well, Justin Bieber was like thirteen when he fucking came out to it. But you know, <laughs> everything aura. doesn't have to be the same. His aura, <laughs> his aura. 
I'm more saying that like the way, like if he were to go out in the street, like girls would chase him. Yeah, like young girls. young younger girls would yeah. chase him. Well, you showed us that one video where they like ran up on stage and shit. Oh, that that's why it was just like you know I kind of had to had that confirmation at yeah. the concert, even though no, <laughs> even though no one like. Really, were like, you looking around to see if someone was in the star on the stage? Nah, not like that. I was looking at how people were reacting. Like, yeah, I was he's, like, he's how are people taking him in? And like, yeah. oh no, they, they're, they're like, cra- they're going crazy for him. Yeah, he's got the youth. Yeah, and then the the new song he previewed. Ah, oh, I, I told Wesley this is gonna be one <laughs> yeah. of the charts. But you know, <laughs> good. Well, the you intro, know how you said? the intro of like the beat. Dun, 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 dun. No, it was a different intro, huh? Like it was like a slow, like oh, melodic. Yeah. yeah, it's the one that I... I don't know if you got the whole thing though. I I got it from when um, cause he started like really like slow, like to watch play, and West? then he like they kind of paused and then they went into it. That see, dun, 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 dun. this was right after he said like oh, I got a new song. Okay. This is a new song. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, it's this part. I think it's uh, Yate Supere. Yeah, Yate Supere. Okay. Something Supere. That's a fire beat. Dun, yeah, it was a little good. tuba or trombone. I don't know what they sound that. Trombone. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I think it's trombone. Beating. Yeah. The one that they pull and push. Yeah, I think it's that. Oh, the, yeah. Sounds great. Sounds great. But they have those other ones that like the stat. I don't know what those are called. Trumpet? Like the, huh? Trumpet? No. No, the, 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 they're like curved. Tuba? Like a small tuba. Like, oh, I don't know. Saxophone? I don't know. It's like it's like kind of curves, and they hold it like this, and it has like a like a thing comes up. Got it. I don't know. Uh, a trumpet or something like that. Okay. Whatever. No. Well, continue. Continue on your hobby. Yeah, I mean, that would. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I think that song is gonna be. Yeah, that song is gonna be a hit for sure. That song's gonna be a hit. Um, but I don't know. I think I think the song is supposed to be with Luisa Reconriquez. Hmm. and I think. From what I saw, they've been previewing it since November. Mm. But I'm not 100% sure because when I looked it up, they both come out on the cover. And the Got song it. that they um, were previewing like hasn't came out yet. So I don't mm. know if it's the same song or I might be wrong. Got it. Got but that's just from what I saw. Okay. LFP exclusive. I like it. Wesley, from your point of view, what do you think? Uh, he was good. Uh I mean, he did it. He did all the hits that he has so far. Yeah, the crowd was going crazy. Uh, there was this, kid, there was this, uh, this girl. She's probably like maybe fourteen or something in front of us. And then okay, I, she was there like her grandpa or something. I'm assuming that was her grandpa or her dad or maybe her dad. I mean, this fool like put her put her on his shoulders. It's kind of like an older guy though, so I felt bad for him. And yeah, he uh, he took breaks. He was like put her down. <laughs> was... But yeah, no, he was good. Um, I. I He's already, I mean, he's already a start, but he's for sure. Like, this is his year. So, and I think he's building, like, the, the hype train. What do you think takes him to to another level? A great album. Uh, Yeah, album, maybe. Uh, and then a tour at the end of the like a legit tour at the end of the year. But I don't know if he'll get to there. Um, Maybe, like, in a different genres, tour. experience, getting um, bigger. I'm telling you, he's got to get into that slow shit, mm. which I assume he'll put. On his album, yeah. if he ever releases, or when he ever releases one. And I feel like that's what's going to, you know, kind of give him that uh, that push. Okay. Because he's got, like, the, the I would say, the more pop hits. Yeah. And then, because um, he kind of started off with that slow shit, and once once he really just kind of gets in that bag, like, he's he's going to really get over the top. The way uh, Junior Ache. Mm-hmm kind of sad boys type of thing. I'm not saying to release a whole album like that, 
which I feel like he can. But, you know, maybe um, put some music like that in, in, in your album. Maybe him getting on another artist, like a big feature? Yeah, but I feel like... In another genre? Yes, but I feel like I think the only genre that he would really go into is pop, just because he sings. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I I have yet to see him do like more like a rap, more like a reggaeton type. Maybe he yeah. can. I mean, he's got the voice for it. He just has to, you know, get acclimated with the tempo and the beat and stuff like that. But I mean, maybe he could be diverse, but yeah. I mean, we haven't seen that yet. But that would definitely put him over the top if. Well, you know, if and when that happens. Speaking of slow shit, do you listen to Ivan Cornejo? Yeah. Yeah? Did you listen to Baby Please? No, no, no. I haven't listened you should. to No, no, no. <laughs> shit like that. No. It's, uh, I think it just came out. <laughs> yeah, last month it just came out. It's good. Very slow. I recommend. But anything else on the uh, concert? No. No. I don't think, that, I think we uh, hit on everything. Okay. Well, we're going to a concert. We are this coming week. Well, we're not going together, but always with the stick list, you know. <laughs> you need to uh, clarify. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't be couldn't be caught there with me. Um, so, Fade is having a concert in LA this weekend. Okay, who do you who do you think he'll bring out at the uh, LA concert? I think what's going on here? A blender. Yeah, I hear that. Oh, I thought it was yeah, the, 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 I thought that she was going crazy or something. I haven't heard that in a while. That uh, shit a lot. I was blending. We got a little weird. Um, yeah, I think. Yeah, so it might could. be the vacuum. Yeah, we got. Well, okay. Go. I just, I just, I just. That's it. No, I, yeah, I think Amigo and then uh, probably Blast. It's in LA. Blast brought him out at Coachella. Maybe return the plate favor. Bro kicks. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Bro kicks. Why do you do you know something? Did they hit? Did you know they're gonna be another? Nah. Uh, Yandel? Nah. You don't think so? Just release the EP together? Nah, maybe LA. at the Miami one. Okay. The Miami oh, one for sure he's gonna. Oh, that was stupid. Yeah, that would be fitting. You're right. Okay. Anyone else? I think it's those, those are it. Anything you're looking forward to about the concert in particular? Uh, I saw the stage. It looks crazy. Um, Is yeah. that the first show? It's the second one. The first yeah. one's in uh, San Jose or Sacramento. One of those. Uh, oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. The, uh, I mean, he puts on a good show. I think you'll like it. I think you'll enjoy it. George said he might. He might pull up. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I say he's along the answer? <laughs> I'm not trying to remember. I was like, did I just? <laughs> <laughs> you should know, dude. This guy's an idiot, bro. But you should know. Yeah, I was right. looking at the tickets the other day, and yeah, bro, they're up. They're they're more expensive. I mean, tickets all over the place are expensive. Yeah. yeah, that's how it's been the past few years. But now is it? Well, highly. Um, I think a lot of people want to go see him now. Uh, speaking of concerts, Bad Bunny canceled his March concert in Minneapolis, and people are debating whether it's the album or if it's the ticket prices. Oh, we didn't, we talked about that, right? I think I brought it up, and they said it was like the weather, because there was like a storm that weekend or something. Mm. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like oh, you so. said in March. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought this was a different thing. Nah, yeah, it was the one in um, uh, Minneapolis. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then yeah, everyone was saying that like it was ticket sales and shit. Yeah, that's when they started saying that. But then mm. his, you're people, right. We did talk about this. You're people right. said uh, it's the weather. Well, speaking of ticket prices, Ticketmaster is now being, uh, what it, what's it called? Clash action lawsuit? No. Yeah. It's sued by the government, essentially. Oh, no, that's not. For what? Class actions are like the public, no? Yes. Public, I think you're right. Uh, uh, civil uh, suits. Right. Yeah, yeah. So Ticketmaster is being sued by the federal government for a potential monopoly in uh ticket prices oh, um, well you have to buy like every ticket through Ticketmaster. yeah so it's the doj versus Ticketmaster. apparently the <laughs> so live nation and Ticketmaster came together and merged and i think it says 2010 yeah and they essentially forced on venues to only use Ticketmaster. yeah it's just and they are being 
in part sued by the government because uh, of the hidden fees and the uh, extra add-on, like the garbage fees, the bullshit oh, fuck that we've mess. talked about for a long time. And I don't know how that was allowed to be even done. Like the person putting on the concert is now merging with the person selling the tickets. Like who controls? <laughs> Aren't they supposed to stop monopolies from even yeah, yeah. happening? <clears throat> And I think that's what they're attempting to. It, I mean, back then, obviously, it was passed. Mm -hmm. Like, they, they let it go. I don't know how. They already went through with it. Yeah. I mean, they've had a good 14, 12 years of nothing but doing whatever they want. And that rain may come to an end, finally. Yeah. I good. think uh, fucking Joe Biden was talking about that last year. Yeah, he was. So he might be responsible for that. So that's the only good thing he's done. Yeah, they are fighting the <clears throat> corporate rip-offs rip -offs and promising a crackdown on junk fees. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's about time. I can't believe they were able to get away with it for this long. I mean... Yeah, it took for us to talk about it for them to really see the issue. <laughs> I think so. It took for us so. to get a sponsorship that don't hit us up no more. So. Yeah. Another... <laughs> another... Uh, I know the real someone saw, I'm sure. Um, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I had no idea that Live Nation and Ticketmaster were essentially the same. Well, that was years. like, duh. <clears throat> public knowledge or what? Are you just No, I think that was public knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> maybe just no one actually, none of the public knew. But maybe they didn't think anything of it. Yeah, or they just didn't care. Just a regular fucking two companies merging. Yeah, potentially. But in reality, it was just two companies splitting a bogus profit that they were getting out of the consumer. Yeah, because because they miss scamming for a long time. But how how do you dang you would have to put them out of business? But I don't think they're able to do that, right? Even I think they can have them on like become separate companies. But they would they wouldn't be any compensation for the victims, right? Oh. <laughs> Maybe like a. <laughs> not. Sometimes I put out like a two hundred dollar whatever. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, yeah. credit. Yeah, well, that's I did. I did get a random ass. Um, I don't know if you got. I worked at a, like a few different spots and like, like randomly I'll get like a. Um, yeah, like a settlement, like a civil settlement suit. check. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I get the little time. Same. I got one for three hundred the other day. I let them touch him. <laughs> now I remember at the, one of them was for like used to have to to get out of work they have to check you like make sure you're good yeah but not everyone could come to the front like a manager to check you and so you'd be on your lunch or your break and you'd just be standing there it was waiting oh and they're wasting your time and they're wasting your minutes like for your lunch and your break and that was the whole that was the case and that person won for everyone like i remember there was people who been who had been at that place for like i think 10 years or close to 10 years and they had gotten like two thousand dollars Oh yeah, it depends how long you've been there. So. Yeah, so those are always yeah. nice little checks you get. <laughs> just random ones. I actually just got one recently. Like, say, what? Well, not the actual check, but saying like, "This one hey, coming. We're gonna, we're gonna put you into this. There's one coming. Yeah, I got that one too. You know what's funny? And sometimes yeah. I'll give you. Do you want to opt out? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why would I opt out? But, <laughs> but that yeah. one, I don't know. I'm first time I'm saying that one's. You had to like fill it out if you want. Yeah, to, yeah. That, that was that was the first time I ever seen that. Me too. And I was like, usually you just. So you I didn't fill it out. I just threw. Dude, that shit, yeah, put same. in the shredder, but I was like, yeah, I was like, usually you're just, you're already automatically in it, yeah. But this you one have was like, right in to not be in it, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This one was like you had to fill out a form, and I was like, what the fuck. You know yeah. the people that don't fill out or to fill out like for them to be exempt from it, whatever they're giving up goes to the actual person defendant oh. in that case. That's why they do that. Nice. They that's what the lawyers do. They have to, you know, notify yeah, 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 all yeah. the past employees. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, like for every employee who receives a check, that comes out of the actual lawsuit. The whole settlement. From yeah. Him. And they don't mm -hmm. take uh, a bigger piece of the pie. Got you. So, so the less people involved, the better for that person. Oh yeah. Yeah. Whatever's left over is just gonna go to them. Yeah. Her and the or the 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 plaintiff is that the yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, Thank and you. the lawyer. Yes, yeah, sir. Watch a lot of SUV. Um, so yeah, hopefully Ticketmaster 
it's finally but you know what's funny not out of not, business not necessarily related to music uh walmart is in that class action lawsuit as well Whoa. so i guess they were uh well just over um incorrect uh weight in the uh, produce and meat because you really? know how it's like pre-packaged like yeah, some, yeah, lady, yeah. some lady made a video about um how she went to the south, no, no, to the uh, way station in in the produce area, and she okay. took her chicken, uh, and the, okay. and the chicken on the label it said four uh, four pounds, and then when she's weighing it on the scale it said two pounds, mm. and they were selling it as four pounds worth of food. That's smart for her. I no, 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 the cut. Co- no, no, I was saying that's smart that she went and like waited. Oh, I never okay, okay. Waited. Okay. The same. I wouldn't be taking my skill. <laughs> yeah, because you kind of, you know, you've been to the gym. I mean, just trust it. <laughs> it feels like two pounds. Yeah. It feels like three it. pounds. Yeah, like, essentially. Damn. Yeah, so they were, they were doing that shit. That's a perfect, like, who's going to notice? Like, yeah. See, that's why they, they deserved all the stuff that they've been getting. And that, that's another thing, too. Like, who fucking bullshit regulates these scales and I'm sure they get away with a lot of things. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, have you looked at chip bags recently? <laughs> that's my, like, They have more plastic. Yeah, that's my continuing hate for that shit. Let's just make them the bag smaller, bro. Like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> just charge me whatever you're going to charge me. Just make the fucking bag smaller so I know what I'm getting. Yeah. Um, all right, guys. What else in, in music? Oh, J.O.P. Um, said... After announcing his uh, Notre Amores tour, that he's okay. not going to be performing in Mexico anymore due to uh, cartel threats. Oh, yeah, he got well, I don't think it's because of that. He just said he wasn't performing, but a lot of people are speculating because of the threats because he did get one in Cancun for his, yeah, for his performance in Cancun. Yeah. Well, he was in Monterrey recently for yeah. that one festival. Uh, I'm assuming he won't be at the Cancun one. Uh, I think that passed already. It was supposed to be this week. Oh, okay. Got it. So I don't know. This kind of cool. it kind of came out of the rapper at the same time. But got it, got it, got it. I'm a, that's why people were assuming that it that has to do with that why. because it was yeah. around the same time. But I mean, I get that. I, it's funny how you always try to see, well, there's always that person in the comments who thinks they're the tough guy. I'm like, oh, I would have still performed. I've never seen that, really. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if they're, they're saying they showed up. <clears throat> but there's always people who think yeah. like they can go through that. Like people think, like I mean, you'll go through it. You just won't come out <laughs> on the other end. You yeah. feel me? You'll go. Yeah, you're just not back. coming back. That's that's the problem. You're Everyone, going, every yeah. we can all go through it. We can all get there. You, but you stay there. Yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> you never come back. You know, like you're stuck. An internal. Yeah. Yeah, but he announced that. I mean, I can see why. I mean, but and and another comment was funny too. Is like, why don't the cartels keep the same energy with these? uh uh, white people trying to gentrify uh, Mexico. Because they're buying their drugs. They're buying their drugs and they're, and buying, they're their... buying their land yeah. and their stuff and they're paying for whatever whatever they need to buy. I would say that's why. I mean, I don't think... You know, how do they win when JLP performs? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure they... But I'm sure they also do that to get a cut out of whatever, you know, pay charge oh, them yeah. a tax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like whatever he's got going on. Yeah, like you, you yeah, know, you gotta check in, you know. This yeah, it should maybe trying to extort him, for sure. Yeah, but I mean, at that point, what the hell are you doing? You, you gotta give up the cash. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. I mean, they already is he, had... is he the first of many artists to? Uh... Well, they already said about Peso, no? Yeah, in certain areas. Yeah. So is this the way it's gonna go? It's just certain areas. But I mean, it's always been like that. It's always been. You know... If you don't fuck with us, mm-hmm. pretty much. You know, the wrong area. Just don't come. Yeah. It's the same people, right? What do you mean it's the same people? The same people that are... I don't know, George. I'm not tapped in like that. Huh? You got to be a little more specific than then. It's just the same people. I mean, the same group that they're telling Peso and Trujillo? No. Oh, you're I saying... I think the other one's a golf cartel. Huh? You're saying it's the same cartel that's telling each other? Yeah, I was... I, just, I thought you guys... Uh, but do you know? Huh? Okay. You're asking us? Yeah. yeah are oh, you asking or telling us? Oh, I was asking. I thought you were being like, you guys don't know. I know. Yeah. I, don't I, know. I was asking. I don't, th- <laughs> I don't think it's the same one, though. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the same one either. But yeah. I think that one from from Dun Cancun is the Golf Cartel, I think. I might be wrong. 
But they're not. They're definitely at the same. Everyone has their own fucking region. Yeah. No Every one, little region. No one is spread out like that. Yeah. Uh, oh, shit. He's going to have to have a lot more shows. He actually added shows, too, for his uh, tour. Oh, yeah. I, just I think he added another San Diego show and another... Might have been extra Texas or Arizona. I forget. Yeah, he's, like, uh, going straight, like, up north. Like, in that area. Oh, you mean, like, through the U.S.? Oh. So, like, from Mexico going on. Oh, okay, okay. And then... That's what it's... Got it, got it. Okay, okay. That's pretty smart. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they're doing... Because I've seen, like, certain routes tour. where, like, they have to go west, east, yeah. and then they go up north, and then they come... And they just start going all around. Yeah. How but big... I'm, I'm sure it's hard to, like, um, book shit. Especially, like, in L.A., bro. There's, yeah. like, so many auditoriums. Like, there's always some shit going down. And so many people wanting to book them. Mm-hmm. For something, artists of all genres and events of all kinds. Have you seen like where he's playing? Like how big the show, the venue is. Mm-hmm. No. But I, I know Mexico doesn't have like big venues like that, like the way they have here. He's not playing mm-hmm. SB. Oh yeah, I mean yeah. that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't always have to come. Over here. <laughs> yeah, it's not LA, LA, Anaheim, and San Diego. I think. Uh, what else? The music. Um, shoot. Oh, the new Rao with uh, Sky Rompiendo? Yeah, like? yeah. Yeah, so Rao and Sky Rompiendo finally came out with their song. Uh, Espectacular? I forget. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see. Espectacular. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can tell he's kind of getting back to his uh, pop self. I think that's what's... I'm, I think I'm going to start sounding like a hater at this point. But I found it kind of... Like, man, like, kind of cool. That was it. I'm still waiting for, why like... You, why does it make you sound like a... <laughs> well, because every time he's come, the last five, whatever single he's put out, I think they were all just sort of, like, they're cool. And that was it. And I'm still waiting for, like, one of them to really stand out. Hector said Latin like, as a banger. All right. I, I, it was... Yeah. yeah, you think so? Not, okay. like, a huge banger, but... Small. <laughs> it's a small. Made a bang. Like a, made a bang. A small bang. It's like a boom. But I like Liano's part, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I liked his part. I can't. I couldn't tell. Like when he had a more when he was singing. <laughs> Got it. The the voices were interchangeable. Yeah. Okay. Uh, nah, he kind of stood out like in the in the middle, yeah. where he was just kind of going off on his own. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just I'm still waiting for one of the, for one of the songs to stand out to me. Cause I, so far, everything that I've heard is like good. Sounds like you're chasing that 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 first high. Maybe, maybe that could be it too. Maybe I've just listened to him so fucking much that I, I'm not like yeah. listening to him again doesn't sound new. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but uh, it was a cool song. I, I just I'm still waiting for something to to really stand out. But I'm sure I hear it on the album. On the album, yeah, the one where he drops. I'm sure I'll hear a, a few standouts hopefully. But up until then, uh, yeah. I thought you, you didn't like Hey Little Mama. Hey, hey Little Mama. Mama with Eladio. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a good feature. That's a good feature. That's a good one. <laughs> He's come out with good stuff. None of it's been like, oh, shit, like very stand. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was going to say, alone. what was the, your but favorite? He's, he, he's, he's, uh, on a good, he's on the right track from where he was. Last year, <laughs> yeah, not nah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's it's that. It's oh, a drink trying, it's not throwing those in, in the rear mirror, bro. We were, we were, we were, but that's we're, like his. <laughs> that was his dud. That was him, like dud era. going down, and yeah, it was. He's climbing right now. He's climbing. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, a it, little stagnant right now, but he's climbing. He, uh, my favorite. I think I would have to say Bayak with Alvaro Diaz. That would probably be my favorite so far of the, the recent singles. Yeah, I mean, what else was released? Uh, oh, I've seen supposedly, I don't know how relevant that is to Dragatom, but yeah. supposedly there's a remix and Ye hopped on. I like that. Oh, yeah, I saw that. And He's so. trying to involve himself. I didn't see that. Yeah. We'll see. I'm mad really don't care if he drops or not like on a remix I guess if he goes off though I wanna I want the old Kanye yeah 
I don't know. Stuff. I just don't really care as much. He's not really in this. He's not involved. He uh, I want the main attraction to to really go for it already. Uh, well, Drake ended up releasing it on all platforms. Push ups. Yeah, yeah, he did. He so, did. And supposedly, did we talk about this? That they Kendrick released. Well, supposedly it was like a Kendrick AI diss yeah. or whatever. And they were kind of, I guess, uh, Kendrick's team. They were pretty much accused of doing the same thing Drake did, kind of leaking it mm. and seeing the reaction out of it. And supposedly, like it was negative, and then they kind of, you know, didn't claim it. Well, there was a guy on YouTube saying that he made it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, he he pretty much said it. This is how I made the K dot. There was a Drake AI. one that that came out that day too, and but they said can, it was AI. Yeah. They can pay that dude off and say, "Hey, like, yeah, it could this. be." Yeah, now you now you're thinking through each. Yeah, I just I don't like, like thinking things <laughs> like that because <laughs> <'cause> everything <laughs> is questionable. Because say yeah. it about like everything. Yeah, that's, that's the bad thing about uh, AI. Everything is, is questionable now. Yeah, well, there, there's another guy that even said, "I'm gonna make a video and say I'm <laughs> <laughs> on YouTube." He's saying that like the the first the thing that we listened to in the studio was AI, and that Drake made the AI, and then he just like re saying it himself, like for the real track. No. That's damn, my boy, damn, you got tired of the Ghost Rider, you started using AI? Yeah, pretty much. What if they've been had that technology and they've been, that was... We find out all his albums are AI. They're not even him. Yeah. And the people were bitching that there was other uh, writers on the the push-ups. So, yeah, I think there's two other guys listed on there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, on the push-up song. But, but all that is politics when they get you know, song credits, you know? But potentially. Because yeah, you can saw, like, for you to get song credits, you have to, the bare minimum is you have to be in the same room. Yeah. Like, in the same writing room. Even though you don't contribute anything to the song, as mm-hmm. long as you're in the writing room, you're going to get song credits. Well, I'm pretty sure you can give someone writing credits even if they didn't do anything, just so that they can get, like, money off of it. Yeah, that's what DJ Khaled did yeah. for, for the son. Yeah. Just so that now they're... Part of the eternally world. gonna be paid for that shit but they don't have to do anything or do any yeah um but yeah uh back to reggaeton or <laughs> musica whatever he has i don't know how we got there but nah it's okay what else oh we're done with that i'm done with them <laughs> i listened to uno mas yesterday um with tani yandel and i was like damn this is yeah, that's a good album. This is the that Alejandro that I want to listen to. Like he just sounds different. Like, he just sounds like like he's into it right now. I don't know. Very don't know. very negative. From <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, but it's it's sad. It's sad. For, I mean, for him to be my favorite artist, and then like I'm always excited for what what's about to drop, and then he drops, and I'm just like, hmm. you gotta maybe not be excited, and then just <laughs> maybe maybe I have to have like zero expectations from now on to really. I don't know. But yeah, we're done with Rao. <laughs> well, we'll check Damn. back in with. You sound like you're mad at me. I am. It's, it's, <laughs> it's depressing, dude. Like, like I want to. I don't know. But it doesn't matter. I have other music from them to play, so it's fine. <laughs> it is what it is. We'll make up. We'll make up with this next album. Damn. I'm kind of sad for you now, man. Yeah, I brought the whole pot down. But that's it. I mean. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, no one else really. Oh, Bless oh. dropped the song. Oh, that's right. Oh, that song's that song's I think better than. Uh, <laughs> I've, only, yeah. I've only get I've only listened to one time. The Alejandro one. I like that one a lot. It's with Obi on the drums. Yeah, he actually has a he has a couple lines on there that are funny. I think it's like, mm, que dices que estás cansado de pelear conmigo con oh. That's got a good memory, dude. Song just came out. Entre culos que ya ni sigo. So you want to play like the two lines? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know uh, Being Local by Vicina and Mora. Oh, okay. yeah. I saw that. Yeah. Uh, Thursday? I thought it was, it was okay. Yeah. I think we seen this trying to, you know. Not really. Play his part. Yeah. Oh. You know what, bro? 
this is my it's kind of random but this is my opinion on Arakaku. i feel like recently <laughs> the last like two years he kind of just been trying to chase that like trendy song oh yeah that right there i thought that was a funny line been putting Ooh. out you relate to that one or what <laughs> yeah it's to take it right out of my life but <laughs> I was like, is this my life? Yeah. <laughs> Did I write this? Am I on the writing credits? Yeah. Should I tell? And it's not going to start on the ones you do follow. Uh, <laughs> but it just gets worse. Go down a dark, dark hole. But I were saying? Yeah, we're saying? Yeah. Yeah, I just feel like he's just been very disappointing in that aspect. I mean, he's, you know, to me, I feel like he's just trying to chase that, you know. You, you, you don't like the best of Blue Moon? No. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't like that either. That was good? Or. I, oh, I didn't like it. No, I just asking. Mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, you, yeah, you're that's getting these one, right? artists. They had, they had one come out last year, dude. That shit was that pretty weak too. Yeah, they did. It was like, uh, fuck, what was it? Whatever. Yeah, that was a weird. I was surprised that that was even like a song together. Yeah, bro. I just yeah, I kind of had. I was maybe gonna fight for him to be on tier number three, but. <clears throat> I don't even think he makes it. Anymore. Nah, we'll do tier two. He's next, got the right? bars, but that's just yeah, he can rap. That's, that's not what you know. What gets you to be big? Yeah, especially you don't, you don't think he what he's put artistry. out before. I think compared to what he's put out now, I think he's just kind of chasing that. Now. Oh, he's old too. That's true. He's, he's been in it for a minute. That rhymed. I mean, he said himself in that, in that the intro of that one song um, that he's not. He's an artist forever. I forgot how that bar goes. Yeah. Yeah. So an artista para siempre. Yeah. It was like, yo no soy el artista del momento. Yeah. You think he should just stop? You think he should just give it up? <laughs> should retire. Like, <laughs> so lace it and yeah. hang him on, bro. Yeah, I wouldn't be mad at that. I never <laughs> listened to him really that much anyway. See, it's Conel, I think. That's probably the only song that I really listen to. I think that's it. I mean, there wasn't anything else that I saw. No, that was a, uh, it was a slow week. Well, you know what we yeah, should do next week? But good, because fuck, there's been a lot of music dropping, bro. I can't, can't keep, keep up. up. Like, we had the Avengers shit, then Young Miko, then Fade, and then, and then, yeah. Who was before that? Someone else dropped in there. Maybe I had to go to, to rap beef. I had to go back and uh, listen to, like, a lot of the shit, because I was like, I forgot about that. I forgot the shit came out this year. <laughs> came out in January. Yeah, it was early. It feels like forever. Yeah. Well, dude, we're almost at the... We're close to the halfway point of the year. Oh, you know, know. You know what's the... the I the, the what, Oh, yeah, this came out. Uh, Freaky by Gonzi. Oh, yeah. That was like, cool. That song is a banger. That song is That was a good cool. follow-up to... The last one? Uh, exclusive? Yeah. Exclusivo? Exclusivo. Uh, yeah, that one... That exclusive was a banger. And Arkan has ruined that remix, too. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you... I highly Tell recommend you, he's been on Song of a Group of Frontera. He's, he's kind of just doing whatever. So, I didn't think that one was that bad, but still, like it yeah. just seemed like a little too desperate on his end to just try to be. He's just kind of relevant. going for the yeah the relevancy of whoever is like hot right now, whoever could potentially make you that that hit. It's like Rick Ross hopping on the song like mm. the fuck like oh, yeah I'm like Ross right now right now. <laughs> mm. I like this song on the Metro. It was cool. I guess, but I mean, yeah. you don't want to hear him all the time. Oh, no, no, I don't. But yeah. <clears throat> you know, listen to a Rick Ross album. Uh, one, one is cool. You know, was one like, feature, one song. Yeah. Oh, uh, Ryan Castro. He dropped. Oh, oh yeah, he did. I haven't listened to that. A little, little salsa. It was, it was cool. Yeah, he's going to put out an album May 9th. And this whole. Right? Yeah, his first album. It's a great talking point. First <laughs> album. El Cantat, El Cantante del Ghetto. Um, I think he said that over a million times. Yeah, that's, that's like his line. Yeah, that's his tagline. <laughs> that's, that's who he is. El Cantante del Ghetto. Uh, little salsa banger. Um, unexpected. Unexpected type of, type of song from him, but that's just fire. <laughs> Diverse. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. I think if you're not that Well, I mean, he's, he's made a... Not a uh, no, that he, one song, uh, Mami Chula or Mom, Mujer Diego. Mujer Diego. That's the one, uh, that one kind of salsa, like yeah. kind of changed yeah. tempo in the song. 
That was I mean that was that was like his first hit. But uh yeah, I'm excited. He put the that ghetto star song on there. That song came out like two years ago. Yeah, I saw that. Why oh, the fuck did he put that on? <laughs> well maybe because the ghetto star, he's in the thing. I mean I like that song. But that shit came out two years ago then. Yeah, it was old. But yeah, it's like eighteen tracks. The Kim Miles on here. Yeah, of course. That's the Rich Game. Rappers with with Rich the Kid. I highly don't recommend that song. <laughs> just because of Rich the Kid. Yeah, I don't know. Four what do you guys expect? Four. First uh Ryan Castro album. I th- I have high expectations. Me as well. I hope he does well. Nice. My prediction, not expectation, my prediction is that like half of the album is going to be good and the other half is going to be bad. Mm. Or it's more like a fear of what I'm expecting. I can see why you say that. I mean, this is his first album. It's a love so song. maybe he may not, he may so not be as experienced fair, as... Does he... He released all the features and everything? No. Nah. No? Just a few? Just the four songs that are already out. Mm. Yeah. But there's no features, no track list, nothing yet. Oh, okay, gotcha. I'm assuming Faye's going to be on there. But... Yeah, him and that's Bless. Probably, that's, a, that's a safe. Him and Bless probably bets. be on there. Well, yeah. I still want him and Bless to make an album. That'd be cool. Some but I mean, Young Miko's yeah. was a lot. Of, I mean, it was Young Miko, like 18 too, no? Uh, around then. It was like 16. Yeah, 16 or 18, I forget. 17 or 16, 17 with that video. Yeah, I think you're right. You are right. Yeah, 16, and she has one, two, six features. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But I understand your fear. I mean, I don't think he's going to come out with great songs, but I just don't know if the whole thing is going to be. Yeah, that one has an Make it like a over 7 out of 10 rating. Yeah, like a full great project. Yeah. Rather than like a few songs you can get. In in its entirety, it's going to be great. Yeah, sure there's going to be great moments, but I just don't know if he's going to have that full experience in the whole project. Yeah. I hope so. I hope so. If he, if he, let's say he drops the, I guess, really good album. Tier three, tier two, tier two. I think he's already tier in tier yeah, three. Tier two. Right now. Well, no we don't know that. We haven't done our tier three yet. That's, <laughs> that's next week. Wow, well, I'm telling you, <laughs> I still can't get over that Hector was fighting for like Rosalia to be on tier two. That was crazy. I was thinking about shit the other day. I was like, I was just for riding so hard for her. like she's a great artist. I'm, I'm just you. saying we had to put her in there <laughs> even though we don't listen to her. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. she had the. Everything that we said. You know what song's good? We didn't talk about it. The, um, what's it called? It's the one with Nicky Nicole and um, it came out like earlier this year. But we never talked about it. It's pretty good. Let's do it. How do you spell this bitch's name? Nicky N-I-K-I, I think. <laughs> um, Una Foto, the remix. That's a good song. Mm. I haven't heard it yet. I think I have. Who's it with? Um, Tiag... Uh, Mesita I and Emilia. I think, yeah, I did hear that was a good talk. Una photo. All right, I'm at it. Just uh, oh, she dropped the song you with uh, Gavella yesterday for today, right now. Nikki Nicole, yeah. late. Okay, we're at the very end. I don't know what that means. Yeah, okay, that's a little acoustic. <laughs> That was like kind of um Let me take off my phones for that. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking uh I did not like that. <laughs> I know it's crazy off the first like five seconds. <laughs> oh. But uh what was I gonna say? That's how it is. I really Oh is. It was, uh Eladio was like pe- people were this week he was trending like in a lot of uh, like rap pages. Like people were posting about him saying like yeah. he's like the next Latin artist to like break out and shit. And then pe- yeah, people in the uh, comments were like, damn, ain't no way a lot of you paid for like all this, uh, <laughs> all this, ass, like, <laughs> all this promo. And then someone put, he, he didn't, but his, his, his label did. They're doing their job. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. As an artist, do you tell them, hey, I don't, I don't do that? I mean, I'm pretty sure they have to like green light it with you. Like, we're going to do this. Um, yeah. I don't think so. I don't think they got to green light anything with you. I'm sure if they want to keep a, a healthy relationship with you, they probably tr- like run it by you. Mm. And I guess they they could not listen to you, but I'd agree. I'm sure they have to let uh, you know. Academic posted it, and people were like, "What the fuck?" 
I didn't even post that he's the next one. Yeah, he's uh, next up. Oh, that's paid promo. For and sure. they, they were uh, they were highlighting his song with uh, Milo Jota because you know how they just dropped the music video. Like, yeah, yeah. And uh, and I was like, man, that's not even. I mean, I feel like they could have choose a better song. I I know obviously that song just the video just came out, but there's better songs on that album. Yeah, but uh, but they might want to drive traffic to that video. Yeah, that too. Um, yeah, it was just funny. They were like, oh, he's the next Latin artist up, and I was like, bro, this was been out for like years, like. Yeah, but uh, and they're just highlighting how he has like a bunch like rap ties, like like he's got songs with Future, <laughs> Lil Wayne, and shit. 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that shit was funny. I saw on, you know, how he he has a song RKO or whatever, and then um, uh, he was at one of the wrestling events, and he had Triple H do like the spitting. No, the there you go, the fucking uh, <laughs> the hatcha? from his hometown, the the Hatcha thing, and then he was telling. Uh, he was like, "Oh, can you do it? Because if you do, it'd be fresh." And Triple H was like, "Yeah." And he was like, "It's not bad or anything. It's just like uh, my hometown. Like, he had to like, re- it's not a gang sign or some shit." Like, <laughs> Damn, that's funny. Uh, you guys, anything else I dropped? Any other news? Any other? I'm trying to see, but no. No. All right. Well, then I got a new segment for us. For us. Yeah. Underappreciated reggaeton albums, part one. I'm gonna start with Jayco, Timeless. Yeah, it's not that has a banger. Mike Towers, Bottom X, Low EP. I think it's a four song. Which one's EP. that one? What's on it? Uh, Me X. Uh, is that the one with fucking um? It has that big, that huge. Yeah, uh, I forget what that's. I'm called. losing my train of thought. As Bandido. Oh yeah. Explicito. Yeah. Ecstasy. Yeah, oh yeah oh yeah that's just a 10 um Alvaro Diaz Felicilandia yup Dynasty by Tiny Yandel yup and Rails B Afro Lover 23 that's funny how you said uh, cause I was listening to one of his songs and honestly he has a lot of underrated songs <laughs> you said that just last week I did? Yeah. yeah two weeks oh, last week or two weeks ago something like uh, that yeah you guys got any other underappreciated albums? Uh, let me look. Let me look. Albums underappreciated. I wouldn't say none come to mind like that. I appreciate you. Las leyendas nunca mueren. That's on one, huh? Yeah. Uh, that, nah. I thought it was nah. underrated. Yeah, I like like three songs over there. Okay. It's trying to be fair, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> we, we don't get a. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Neon tape sixteen. Oh yeah, that was cool. I mean, it's small. I yeah, socks, but that one's. I I did put it on here, <laughs> but I thought it was, it was cool. There's not uh, as many good songs. George, you know what? Any Manuel Turizo album? Audible. Yeah, bro. Like, under- Jay, maybe something Jay Wheeler. The Toronto album. Oh, put a song called Let's uh, Call. I mean, it's got the streams, but any dialect? Oh, he came out with a song with uh, Nicky Jam. Nicky, Nicky. Yeah. I didn't Nicky like Nicole. It. No, I haven't listened to it. Hmm. It was trash. I thought it was. I didn't like. I it. I like the the cycle one that came out. Um, like towards the end of the year. The cycle and who? Yeah. Um, uh, it's the same. Oh, the cycle uh, EP. Yeah. Got you. Got you. What is it called? I. Uh, it's what is it called? <laughs> oh, Saliendo de Planeta. Yeah, that one's cool. I okay. Really, all, I liked all the songs on that one. Yeah, yeah. For sure. The one Yandel, the fucking banger. Mm-hmm. Uh, where else am I at with this? Yeah, bro, I can't really. Let's do underrated verses. Oh, that'd be dope, bro. You're getting to level one fi. <laughs> yeah, that one. That's a good one. Uh, yeah, albums. Yeah, I think I think you hit it on the. That's it, right? The head. There's nothing else that I could really think of. Um, like underrated because I'm thinking like yeah, it has to be underappreciated. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah, that's why I'm not putting a fucking. 
Set you up. Alone. Someone's gonna say, bro, like I some if this becomes or people watch, they're gonna be in the comments and be like, yo, bro, yeah. Por siempre, or por siempre they didn't get the the love. <laughs> bro, it's a fucking huge album. Man. Yeah, yeah. You they can't accept some bullshit like that. That's why all the Oh, you set his EP he dropped like a couple years ago. The one with the photon panty, party electronica, yes. champagne. Uh what else was on there? It was like uh, it was like a four pack. Gotcha, gotcha. One second. Is it There's like a Ya casi viene? Yeah. The EP. That yeah, was good. Casi viene EP. Esta noche fontan panty champagne and party de electronica. Yeah. Okay. I I never listened to that one, but I trust you. Yeah, that's that's all I can think of. That's all I could find. Um and I went deep. So pause. You Not really deep. gonna find more. Uh, I really try to find as not niche but as less talked about as yeah possible. like a little artist yeah um Cabello's album last year was good yeah I was gonna met, I saw his name right now that's not one that I checked I don't know what his album was called uh fuck I forgot what it's called but it came out early last year it okay. was good okay uh, it's full album yeah it's full yeah. So, yeah. Gotcha. the Psycho EP I did miss that's a good one um and then Psycho's coming out with Sakura yeah, I think that was the name. I think it's this this Thursday. I'm pretty sure. He didn't put out, or he did put out the track list. Yeah. He has the Polaris remix. Sakura. Uh, Yo lo soñé, Polaris, Supernova. Um, that's all that's on there right now. <laughs> oh, it doesn't have everyone. Oh, it has all the um, song names, though. But not the features? Nah. Or maybe they're, that's it. Maybe, yeah, could be. But there's 16. 16 songs. Um. All right. You guys got anything else? I think that's that's all I got for this episode. I might have some more stuff ready for next week. Yeah. Right, let's you, see. you got anything, George? I don't. Yo, I, I'll play this. Nothing to do with um reggaeton, but I saw this clip today and it got me mad. Give it to me. Pause. <laughs> goes Argentina, Brazil, and then USA. And I think that's a fair ranking. Uruguay has some players that are better than ours, Eddie Valverde and maybe Araujo. But as a team, are you I think U.S. is America in third best. American South America is the third best nation. Yeah. I think right now, that's, so I think that's a fair one. ranking. Colombia. Colombia would be the other one who's in great form. But over, overall Colombia's talent. Chile, Uruguay. Chile is not playing well right now. Uruguay oh, is... Y'all are tripping. And, and guess who did we'll best? This summer. Yeah, we'll and y'all, guess y'all are who, tripping. But wait, but guess who did best in the last World Cup? The U.S. But Crazy. U.S. is literally ranked third highest. That's I know, but you're seeing that they should be, like, in terms of talent. Not his historically right now i don't think it's that crazy i don't think a single north american team makes it out of the copa groups <laughs> that's not is that even possible that's a goal yeah, what part of it exactly did you did it, it the, range the, or the whole thing the it's brazil oh or whatever argentina brazil and then uh, usa are the third favorites the out of south and north yeah because the copa america and the copa yeah, yeah. so he was saying that i think going into that right now that's the ranking Argentina, Brazil, USA. Yeah. Ooh, hell. And then, yeah, he, pretty... touched, he touched on, like, Uruguay and Colombia. They're better than USA. That's pretty high, high for USA. Either, if you want to put your, uh, USA at five, I'll give you that. They're not better than Uruguay. And we're, we're going to find out. We're going to find out. They're in the yeah. same group as Uruguay. Oh, they are? Yeah, okay. USA. And if they, they, they're they either going to play Brazil or Colombia in the next, when they get out that group, so we'll mm-hmm. see. Okay. But I just thought, I was like, man, I hate y'all. Motherfuckers get on podcasts. Start saying shit. Same. Same, <laughs> same, <laughs> same shit on a podcast. <laughs> but yeah, on top that shit was like, man, come by the earth. Damn, what if we in an alternate universe had a soccer pod? I thought about it at one point. Yeah. Then I was like, I, need, I think I'd, I'd get over talking about it. Uh, about soccer? I, I mean, I'd love to do it like every. Like once a month, but every time coming here, yeah, just soccer. And then I gotta hear like George's like stupid ass takes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so like Chicharitos got a fan from Asia come over. What? Oh yeah, some from lady from Hong Kong. Yeah, not that Hong Kong. She came all the way from China. Oh, this is a great story. I should have said this on Patreon, but um, who the fuck was? I think it Atletico Bilbao who won the Copa del Rey. Yeah, they did. They were uh. 
they were singing, they were chanting uh, the center back for Chivas, uh, Pollo Viseño, because they played a friendly, I forgot when, I think it was last year in the summer. Yeah. And uh, and he, I guess they were, I don't know what happened, but like the point is that Pollo Viseño, he got them like uh, a place to stay. And then he also provided mm, the, women. The entertainment. The entertainment, yeah. And when they won the Copa del Rey, they were chanting his name like in the locker room, you know. Because he's going to get the entertainment again. Well, just, you know, kind of yeah, yeah. thanking him. Oh, okay, okay. It was just like a, you know, <laughs> like a term of endearment. Like, you know, you did this shit for us. And I know we're, you know, because they it. said that they, I, I don't think it was in the summer. I think it was like a few months ago. Mm -hmm. And um, they, after that, after that incident happened, mm -hmm. like they started to have good luck. And mm -hmm. they were his good, they were their good luck charm. Got it, got it, got it. And that's why they started chanting his name. Damn. And funny enough, him too, like Boy Viseño, they ranked him top three best uh, aerial defender in the world. I don't know how they ranked that, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it was like, how, 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 like duels one, like others one. Yeah, 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 or like effectiveness. Got it, got it. I think Van Dyke was first. I forgot who was second, and then he was third. Damn. So top player. Uh, yeah, he's like maybe like six two, six three. Oh, okay, but he's like strong. Like he'll he'll go up. Like yeah, you know he'll beat you to the position that type of way. But Damn. he sucks. Like you know, <laughs> tactical wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't pass the ball for his shit. <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> say this guy's like so beast. What the fuck? What's going on? <laughs> no, 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 not on the legs, bro. Nah, you can't. Right, right. You, you can only you can only pass you know, you can only pass on the ball when he's open, yeah. not when he's got a defender. They can't play out. No, because then he'll try to foul the person trying to take the ball away from him. Yeah. He's that type of guy. Like, he has to, you know, shield the ball in a way where like, he's almost fouling gotcha. the other guy. Because he can't just, he can't dribble. Gotcha. I think the fans just got a little preview into our soon coming soccer pod. <laughs> yeah, there's no good ones out there. I actually just watched, <laughs> I just watched the soccer recently for like the last two weeks. Uh, man. Love soccer. It was nice to watch again. <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, you love soccer, but... Whatever. No, I, oh, yeah, no, I yeah, love yeah, it. Yeah. I love it. I just... Yeah. I haven't had cable for like... Ever. Well, since I moved out of the trailers. So that was like six, seven years. Oh, shit. So I really... I didn't want to go to the trouble like to watch full ma full matches on YouTube or anything. I don't... Do they have that? Full matches? Uh, Like where? Replays. On YouTube? No. Yeah, well, like, because I like to watch it, like, its entirety. Yeah. So I could actually get, like, a feel of what the fuck's happening. Because I think you can only take so much from Even highlights. the replays? I don't like watching replays. I only like watching those uh, uh, 30 minute, uh, 90 minute matches in 30 minutes or whatever the fuck. Oh, I've never seen that. They have those on, on TV. Oh, or yeah. 60 minute matches. Gotcha. Well, or 60, whatever. Yeah. Point is, I just like to watch the entire thing. Yeah. And I haven't had cable for a long time. And obviously Maybe. now I have cable again. The guy Max is pretty exciting right now. The what? Oh, the guy Mackies? Yeah. Yeah? I told you guys. It was competitive. Okay. When did you tell us that? I said in the chat. Like two mm. or three months ago. Okay. <laughs> in my it's, it's really competitive. Well, what channel like is that the, on Univision? Do that and then, yeah, yeah. I think it's the same thing. What What channel is it? Uh, like 34, that. maybe 52? Mm. Okay. Do, do that and then, like on mine, I have Spectrum and it's on 260. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I think on mine it's on 26. They they have two yeah. channels. They yeah, have I think Univision and then they have two then and yeah, just, yeah. just Univision Deportes. Because I, I think I watched the oh. Madrid City first leg on that. Two then, yeah, yeah. And that was I think on channel twenty five or six. I forget. But yeah, love soccer. It was great to watch. It was great to have cable and be able to see shit live. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, guys. That's shout, it. Shout out cable, man. <laughs> shout out, yeah. <laughs> You know, you should watch Close It Out, uh, on, are you, the X-Men 97 series. I've never seen that. What is that? It's on Disney. It just came out. Oh, okay. Oh, on Disney Plus? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. X-Men 97. Great, great show so far. It's a... Uh, it's animated. Oh, okay. It's a thing of the... They well, they used to be... There was an old X-Men show. Then um, whatever the, the series but ended. The old one was live action or also animated? No, it was animated. They're on Disney too, but it's just old and... Got it, got it. But it was a great. I used to watch the shit all the time growing up. And yeah. The, um, yeah. No, they they re, re bought it back, and that shit. 
You watching it? I haven't watched it yet. Bitch. Got it. No, I do. Good. I'm gonna watch it though. That shit's good. Everyone's okay. like saying it's amazing. They're saying Mar- Marvel's back. Oh, it's hey. a live action. No, nah, it's a uh, animated. Marvel's it's really back. the fucking yeah. Marvel is back. Marvel's back. Fave yeah. brought him back. <laughs> This guy, <laughs> this guy can do everything. This guy did it, man. Motherfucker is just unstoppable. The green man. You don't know about that. Yeah, that shit was good. But a new Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> but so uh, I'll I'll try to watch it. Uh, I actually watched Baby Reindeer this week. I don't know Baby if you have seen that. Who? Baby Reindeer is a Netflix series. No, Re- really fucking weird. Honestly, I don't even recommend it. <laughs> but if you like weird shit, watch it. All right, until next time, episode one forty five.